Now on behalf of the EFD, Mr Farage. Well, good morning, Mr Schultz. President Schultz, I know it's my job to congratulate you, uh, but given that we knew this result two and a half years ago as a result of a stitch-up, there really doesn't seem to be much point. I mean, after all, nobody in Europe would ever, modern-day Europe, would ever have a big, powerful job that was decided by a full open process. I'm sure Mr Barroso would agree. I was, I was musing this morning. I was thinking, what kind of President Schultz are we going to get? Are we going to get a dignified, calm, a figure that behaves like the Speaker of all great parliaments around the world, somebody who puts himself above politics and the nitty-gritty of the day-to-day -day arguments and is an ambassador, indeed a statesman? Or are we going to get the Martin Schultz we've got to know since 2004 as leader of the socialist group? You know the one I mean, snarling, angry unable to control his temper, intolerant of anybody with an alternative point of view, uh, somebody who is contemptuous when in free referendums people have the temerity to vote no, somebody who is anti-British to his fingertips um, and, and doesn't like free markets. I was wondering which one would we get? Well, your opening speech um, has, 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 quite, has settled that question for me, and it's pretty clear we're going to have two and a half years of political fanaticism from the chair. And I have to say, only a third world country, only a banana republic would want to have an overtly political president of a parliament. But it's what we've got. I may, I may represent the smallest group in this parliament, Mr Schultz, but I can tell you that it's a group whose ideas and whose views are now being echoed by a growing number of citizens right across this continent. I'm sure you'd agree, the opinion polls show it's kind of 50-50 whether people think this EU is a good thing or a bad thing. What we represent, sir, is not anti-Europeanism. That is not what it's about. We believe in nation-state democracy. We want a Europe of trade. We want a Europe of cooperation. We want a Europe that is responsible. We don't want a Europe that seeks to be a global superpower. We don't want a Europe run by Mr Barroso and the Commission and the so-called community method. And I will do my very best to provide political opposition to your presidency over the course of the next two and a half years, and I hope you give us a fair hearing. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now on behalf of the